Hello and welcome back to Subaru. Today we'll be upgrading our stock WRX intercooler for a larger STI intercooler. Let's get started. The top mount intercooler sits on top in the engine bay, so we just need to pop the hood and it'll be right there on top. This thing right here. We want to start by disconnecting the PVC hoses. There are three of them. Let's first disconnect this one. Then we'll disconnect this one. With your 10 millimeter socket, let's remove the two bolts that are holding the bypass valve to the intercooler. These are 12s. Now let's take your 12 millimeter wrench and remove the two bolts that secure the intercooler. All right, let's remove the other bolt. Nope, just one bolt to remove. With a flathead screwdriver or your 10 millimeter socket, loosen the clamps that connect the intercooler to the turbo and the throttle body. Loose, let's move on to the next clamps. Now let's wiggle the intercooler out of the engine bay. This is the stock WRX intercooler. What is that, foam? I'm not really sure what that is. This is the stock STI intercooler. All metal. The stock STI intercooler is meant to connect to the stock STI turbo. If you have a stock WRX turbo, you'll need to get new silicone hoses to reach the turbo. I'd recommend getting new silicone hoses anyways to replace your old ones. This is a coupler that was on the intercooler to the throttle body. It's seen better days. Here's the new Grimspeed one. Let's start by putting the silicone coupler onto the throttle body. Clamp. Double clamp. We'll place the next one on the intercooler. All right, we got that on. Everyone's favorite part, putting it in. I like to try to start by putting this into the turbo inlet and then pushing this down into the throttle body. Looks like we got it in. Now that the intercooler is secure, let's tighten the bypass valve first. Let's take our gasket. So now let's tighten the clamps. Now let's connect all three PVC lines. This is what it looks like installed.
A larger intercooler means colder air going into your engine, and colder air means more power. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe for more Subaru content. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.